Good morning, guys. You know, one of the true joys of Europe are their public squares, which seems like every town has them. But here in Seaview, it's especially um, large and just so medieval. And there's such a, um, a flavor here of that ancient uh, German influence. I mean, it was sort of founded way back in the 12th century um, and a very much a German outpost. This town was named a European Capital Culture back in 2007. And these are designations by the European Union for um, cities or towns that sort of exemplify what Europe's all about in terms of culture. And there's one other place I'll be this trip is Plovdiv, Bulgaria, which is a European Capital Culture for 2019. Here I believe it was way back in 2007. Anyway, um, yeah, this town is just so incredibly charming. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna take a little tour around. researching Romania and Sibiu, one of the things I had read about and I wanted to see here were these bizarre houses with eyes, they're called, and they're all over town. And if you look at them, it's sort of like eyes that are staring down on the town or on you. And actually, they're just attic windows that were shaped that way, but from centuries ago. Um, yeah, but it's just sort of creepy and bizarre, and they're all over town. It's kind of weird. Cool. And look, there's a cyclops. Yeah. There are even cyclops here and there, and some of the houses just have um, three eyes. So yeah, pretty interesting. Sibiu, more than many towns, um, is sort of divided into upper and lower town. And upper town is kind of like where we were at the town square and so on. And lower town is much older and just winds around in alleyways. And you can easily get lost back here, and I bet that's one of the most charming things about it. So let's look around. Yeah, wow, look at the various colors of um, each house as we dig down deeper and deeper into Lower Town. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, so for years, when I thought of Transylvania, and I'm sure a lot of people, I thought of like a dark forest and creepy mountains and then of course Dracula's castle. Um, whereas in reality, Transylvania is just a region of Romania, much like our Midwest. And locals kind of chuckle um, at uh, the perception worldwide of what Transylvania really is. Instead, as I said, it's a whole region. It's not a state or um, you know a city or whatever or its own country. It's just a region of the country. In fact, it's where many of the most popular tourist attractions are. Despite, I mean, in addition to rather, just Dracula's castle. And tomorrow I'll be in the town of Sigasora, and I think that's where Vlad the Impaler actually lived for a time, and that was the actual name of Dracula. You know, sometimes the most interesting thing about a town can be its charm, but its charm alone. I mean, at TripAdvisor, there aren't a lot of things to do here. But so really, it's more about, for me, especially just chilling out for a couple days after this incredible pace for three weeks and just kind of soaking it all in and sitting at outdoor cafes and so on. I've done some of that as I try to get over this cold. But anyway, guys, tomorrow I'm driving on to Segasora, which is another sort of medieval town, but um, I guess it's... A bit different, so we'll see what that holds. And meanwhile, have a good night. See ya.